Rick Wiles is uh, an evangelical Christian fundamentalist. He's a televangelist. He's one of the most insane preachers in the country. And I mean that. We've covered a number of stories uh, of him just saying stuff. And he's reliably mad. He's reliably um, not connected to this earth. So... He recently did this whole thing. I'm going to show you some video in a second. But he talked about how I'm never taking the COVID vaccine. And he also talked about how COVID is the judgment of God. And if people get it, it's because they're sinning. And they're bad people. And they haven't accepted Jesus Christ. So he does all this stuff. He's been doing it for months on his show, if not a full year. Well, guess what just happened? Homeboy got COVID. Now, I'm listen, I'm not one to to take joy out of somebody else's suffering. Um, I think in principle that's just it's just kind of gross. It's kind of like kind of like not a very human or empathetic response. Um, but man, this guy was like the worst of the worst in terms of the stuff he said. Here's an example. He was a senior lawyer for the LGBT Bar Association of New York, the lawyers who sue churches, the lawyers who sue ministries. The ones pushing for uh, integration of bathrooms. Uh, yes. Uh, women, men bathrooms for yes. little kids even. So men one of their senior Target. lawyers for the gay rights movement died today in New York City of coronavirus. Wow. There is a judgment. I'm telling you, a plague is underway. Get under the blood of Jesus Christ. Do not be in opposition to the Lord Jesus Christ Amen. and his church. I can be, look, I don't care who criticizes me. I don't care who's, who, who mocks me. I'm here to tell you that there is a plague underway. There's a death angel moving across the world and your only safety is in Christ. Get inside Christ. I am not going to be vaccinated. Mm, I join you in that. I, I'm going to be one of the survivors. I'm going to survive the genocide. I'm going to survive a global genocide. The only good thing that will come out of this is a lot of stupid people will be killed off. And I'm saying stupid because they're not using their brain, their God-given brain, to make a decision for their own good. Now, this is a report from Israel that yes. the synagogues are the the top spreaders of the coronavirus in Israel. That's that's not an an anti-Israel report. That's a, in the Times of Israel. The fact They're admitting, they are admitting that the virus clusters are in the synagogues. If you go, in fact, I'll show you the next one from UPI. Chief rabbis urge Israelis to stay away from synagogues. Well, I would too. Stay out of those things. There's a plague in them. God's dealing with false religions. God's dealing with people who oppose his son, Jesus Christ. He's, he's dealing with the forces of Antichrist. My spirit bears witness that this is a genuine plague that's coming upon the earth. And God is about to purge a lot of sin off this planet. He has COVID. He has COVID. He's in the hospital as well. They had to cancel his show and then bring in some guest hosts. And I'm trying to not be a terrible person, y'all. I'm trying so hard to bite my tongue. I'm trying. I'm trying. Hey, you heard all of his theories. The LGBTQ lawyer who got it deserved it, deserved it. The, the Jews in Israel who got it and is spreading in the synagogues. What'd you expect? You guys don't believe in Christ and you're rubbing it in and you meet at the place and you talk about how you don't believe in Jesus. Maybe you had it coming. It's a plague that God is sending to purge the sins. Purge them. Purge them. I'm going to get myself in trouble if I continue this segment. I should probably end this segment right now, but there you go, y'all. There you go. So you have one of the uh, 
world's most prominent... I was going to say world's most prominent anti-vaxxer, but let's keep it real. The only people who know who this guy is are you guys. <laughs> and the only reason you know who he is is because I see his stuff on Right Wing Watch and I show it to you guys. He definitely has a bigger audience from us making fun of him than he does on his own. But like... Big time anti-vaxxer and big time... I don't even know what to call it. What would you call that? It's not that he's a COVID truther because the COVID truthers think it's not real. It's not that he thinks COVID is a hoax. He thinks that it's God's divine judgment. Which, listen, leads me to want to ask him, what is the thing that God is punishing you for, Rick? What are your sins? Which sin do you think was so bad that God decided to not only give you COVID, but put you in the hospital. And also, let me ask you, at this moment, do you feel like you wish you took that vaccine? Do you feel like you wish you took it? And do you still stand by your words that this is like, what did he say about the vaccine? That it's, you're getting rid of a lot of stupid people. And I think his argument was like, if you get the vaccine, that's going to kill you. That's the genocide. And so every idiot who takes it is going to be killed off. And we're just getting rid of the stupid people. So what are you going to do? But now you might have learned a lesson. It's not the people who took the vaccine who are going to die in mass numbers. It's probably the opposite. And you didn't take the vaccine and now you're in the hospital and holding on for dear life. What did you learn? Did you change any of your opinions? I honestly would love to talk to him about this stuff, but, but the only reason why is because I'd be curious to see how thick that wall is that you run right into when you try to introduce a little bit of reason into the conversation. How thick is that wall where all these things were just flipped on their head and I bet you he would still sort of cling to everything he said here because he strikes me as that kind of person. He doesn't strike me as the one who'd be like, you know, I've soberly analyzed the things I've said and now what I'm personally experiencing. And I've decided maybe this isn't God purging the earth of sinners. Highly doubt he'd say that. Highly doubt he'd say that, but... There you are, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Again, I could have been a hell of a lot more... Um, mean. Let's go with that word. I could have been a hell of a lot more mean in this segment, so I'm incredibly restrained and I'm very proud of myself for saying only the things I've said so far.